Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we got a motor test for you. So I've had a couple of people ask for this motor to be tested, and I did do it on a previous build and had some problems with the test. So this is going to go on one that I'm that's being I'm building for myself. And so I decided, you know what, it's time to get this thing on the bench. So well, we know what this is, right? This is the Tornado T1 1407 3600 kV motor. And let's do a little bit of weighing and checking this thing out. So let's see here. Let's make sure this is zeroed out. Okay, it weighs in at 15.7 grams. So that's that's fairly light for 1407, not too bad. Let's get some measurements. Let the camera grab that. Camera. Come on, baby. There we go. So we've got 18.59. 18.09. Let's see here. And about 9.53. Get a look here at the bottom. It's got a C clip there. Um, you know, these are, I, I made the comment, I believe, when I was doing the build. I don't know if I did on the first one, but look at how <laughs> notchy. I don't know if you can see that. It is so, so tight as far as the magnets go. And to my knowledge, I think this is the only 1407 with curved magnets. So, um, I think it's going to put out some really good numbers. So let's get it on the thrust stand or thrust meter or whatever you want to call it. Um, now for this one, I only, um, I don't have a lot of three inch props. So the only prop I'm going to be doing at this point is the dowel 5045 triprop. Now I think this is probably going to be the choice for a lot of people. Um, if you're doing, you know, spinning some really high RPMs, um, you may go, or high K, a high KV motor, you may go with like the gym fan, the, I'm sorry, did I say 50, 45? I mean, 30, 45, but you might go with the gym fan 30, 30. Um, but with this one, with it being the KV being a little lower and on a three inch prop, I think a lot of people, this is what they're going to be running. So let's get to the test. All right, this is with the Dowel Triprop T3045. Well, there you have it, a whopping 400 grams of thrust. That's pretty good for a 1407 i would say so you know the numbers match up with the performance that i saw after i built that first one is they these are really really powerful motors um they've got a lot of kind of low-end grunt to them and uh, plenty of top end speed so if you're going to build a 150 or a 130 you know this is one to look at because it is you know, really good build quality. It's really powerful, and I think it would do good on, on about any 150 or 130 model. So, guys, I hope you're getting something out of this. I tell you, I'm getting a lot out of just the discussions we're having in the comment section. So, please, if you, if you have a question or comment, feel free to leave it in there. I've got more motors coming up, and so stay tuned. Um, I've got three different ZMX motors coming up. I've got the new Lumineer Schizo with the ceramic bearings. That's coming up. So stay tuned. Check out my website at xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.